we got Les Lepore Sr. behind us. Go do some panning, a little relic hunting. And I want to show you up there. You see all these roads and tailings and what that is. We just started going up Poland Junction Road. I wonder if you consider us to the west uh, towards Breezy Pines. You see all that, the, what the, the private property, the owners up there are reworking the old tailings. And I think they reopened some of the old, an old mine that's up there. They got conveyors, excavators, and they're getting a lot of gold just working the old, old timers tailings up there. But you see that, that's what that is. They're getting a lot of gold, like I said, just in the tailings. The old timers left. Pretty cool. We're going to some beautiful country up here. I said the ghost town of Providence was up here. We'll get a little add-on video, and uh, we'll see you there. Yeah, this is the one I got JC Keith to make. Oh, that's nice. I've oh, seen that sweet. on one of your videos. This is sweet. This thing is sweet. That is really nice. Most of the gold of it shows up right in here, and then. Well, you you don't miss anything. I I <laughs> run this thing till it's full of black sand, and it'll still exchange the black sand out and keep the gold. Look at that's. This is all computer design. CAD perfect different guys a scientist doctor yeah he's actually like scientist science behind this it changes the flow to different mm -hmm. all the way down mm -hmm. I don't think anything's the, getting out of that box mm -hmm. you can run this thing and run it I mean you would think well it's going to fill up but it actually exchanges just you get down to black sand it exchanges black sand and keeps gold even fine stuff so that that's called like scrubber and goes to something else something Talon. else dang yeah. Lester just had him a real good pan here. Just not even. Let me go ahead and fan it back some more. Hold on. Jeez. Some nice pieces in there. Look, there's a whole bunch of it. Wow. Some nice pieces. Look at that. Look, it's, that's a good. That's the best pan I've had in, in oh, over good. a year. <laughs> uh, let me get, you got to have a little bit of sunlight. I wanna Look at that. That's a lot of gold in that pan. Wish I could see what the camera was seeing. Let me make sure it's. Oh, yeah. That nice big flake. Yep. Okay. That is a good pan. Pump it. Pump it up here. Wow. That might be some, some really good stuff waiting on that bedrock right there. Well, I mean, that's the first place I go, especially when you don't have all your flow. Yeah. Look at that. That's a one pan. That's not bad at all. I'm going to have to crank my camera. Look, there's a piece over here. <laughs> Floating around. Jeez. I'm going to have to save these cons. <laughs> All right. Around here. And I'm All right. I'm glad Lester had a good pan. I did a video sluicing right where he's at with the Angus McCurk. And he's going down to this bedrock here. See now, right where Andy's working there, he's got a nice hole right, right there. That's a nice catch area. And this, yeah. this has got a good significant amount of drop here. So I got down here. Yeah, see, he's down right down on his bedrock right here. here. Either side of this bedrock. And I thought that side would be better. We're close to where Andy's at there. That's a good pan. <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and scratch this out. It looks like the bedrock comes up to the surface pretty quick. And I thought I was getting float gravel. But there it is. I mean, that's a hell of a pan. That's strange. Yeah, because of how much sand is in there, I wouldn't think it'd be really loaded or anything, but... That's the best pan You're, I've had in over a year. You might get to a bedrock crack in there and get you a nugget today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got all the stuff to fish that out. I, I'm going to work right this area all here. All right. This drop and that drop. You're mm -hmm. going to come down here, too. Oh, is that where you just got the last pan from, or was it right I there? I got it from here. Okay. All right. Wow, you're getting me motivated. <laughs> California. Yuba River will teach you how to find gold. That's oh, man. Shit. And if that ain't good enough, Pennsylvania will show you because if you can find gold in Pennsylvania, you can find gold anywhere. I saw you. You slew, you ran that whole bucket and got one little daughter. <laughs> so we were like, so yeah. happy. Yeah. But it's beautiful country. You got yeah. beautiful, gorgeous, and you got water. All the time. <laughs> That's a lot of gold in that pan. What's the coldest it gets up there? We can go minus 10. Minus 10. Ugh. Damn, look at that plate. <laughs> look at that, Andy. Yeah, that's, you, you, that's like a whole sluice clean out, and you got that in one pan. All right, good job, brother. I, I gotta get, I gotta get <laughs> my little bucket down here because there's no way I can throw any, do anything but keep these. 
Oh, okay, good. Lester here is down below where he just found all those pieces. I think this is going to be a good pan. Plus, there was some more like clay and gooey material. He may have found a good, really good cr uh, bedrock crack. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's a crack down in there because I opened it up. And when I get down to the bottom of it, I'll use my crevicing tools. Let's see what we do when we bring this around here. He made a comment. He was so excited. The one hand always shakes, but now they're both shaking. <laughs> I don't blame him. That's some good. That's some good pieces I've of had gold. In over a year. Nice. Now let's see. Get that big rock out of there. Oh, yes, it's showing up over here. Look, it's it. See, it popped up the side. A piece popped up the side there. Yeah. Let me bump this. I'm afraid through the cons way. Oh, I yeah. Let me get this. I know there's. I already watched. See, there's a piece right there. Just washed Jeez. down. That's really concentrated. Oh. No. I thought I saw a big flake. Let's see what happens. It's, it's in there. It's we we're up talking in there. about. Imagine we get a dredge where he's at. And follow. Oh my gosh! We're just panning. Oh man, there comes. there's a here lot comes. of color in there. Let me get some of these. <laughs> get myself excited. Get all messed up here. Look at that. Yeah, a little streak of gold in there. Dang. Well, good. Yeah, there you go. Nice little smile in there. Yeah. That you getting a lot of gold for two pans, just pans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw any of these cons away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got a target right in this hole here. Let me show us that lid we found right here. It's like aluminum or something. Oh, we'll, we'll cross That's aluminum. On it. I could tell by the feel of it, but it's um. See that? That's got like a cross shape on the top of it. It's not deteriorated at all, but it was down in there several inches. So, yeah, that, that's nice. That could go way back to date. The other thing is deteriorated pretty good. I don't know if it was... Well, it could have been like the top of a glass bottle, too, with a, yeah. like an aluminum top and lid. And then we started detecting around the hole, and we found this. I don't know if that's to an old bucket or, I mean, an old barrel or something, or horse thing, or... There's a lot of history up in these mountains. We'll have to dig dig around this thing and see if we can't pull it out of here. Uh, that is neat. Uh, got it. There you go. The heck? Yeah, it's got little loops on it and stuff. That's odd. See, it, you're right. It's got like a bridle latch thing on it or yeah. something. It's got some loop rings and it's it got some little like, studs. It seems like the the U bolts are in the wrong place for anything I could imagine now. I don't know what the heck that would have been, but <laughs> that's cool. That's old. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I zoomed in on you there. There we go, buddy. We gotta give give you a. There we go. Even while you're digging, they're dropping further down in the hole. So you gotta listen to these old guys with experience because I've walked over that spot many a couple over a couple years now and he's pulling gold like I've never seen in this creek. But he's he's fiercely going after with the gold fever that crevice in there. I think we're gonna see some good gold today, guys. Huh. And uh, we already have, but he he showed he said I should leave my hole over here and come over and check this crevice out on the same bedrock pattern because right it's here. a drop. It drops down in elevation, and sure enough, I'm getting down to a crevice. Uh, uh, let me grab a pan of this and be right back. Are you ready for another rock? Okay. There you go. Don't chew on it. Do it. <laughs> Here's Lester's pan number three. More nice pieces, and he's still taking that crack down in there. I washed a lot of it down, too. Yeah, there's more pieces down in there. It's real fine stuff in here, too. Yeah. I had a buddy upstream of here on the Roadrunner claim years ago. We got a a piece the size of a, a fingernail right there. It was a it was gorgeous, bright, ye rich yellow. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna get back at it. Uh, we'll trade places once to. I, I bet you I can get gold out of that hole you started there. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm gonna do a pan where I think where he's at and let's see. Oh, I gotta give a huge shout out to a guy. I noticed uh, 
I was in the back of the sleeper this week, and I said we got a new Patreon, Adam Lomas. Adam Lomas, uh, thank you very much, and uh, welcome to the channel, and uh, we appreciate your being a Patreon member. Thanks, Adam. All right, let's get some more pans in. Oh, I said I got to get back in the truck at about 10.30 to midnight tonight, and my buddy Randall is going to drive first. He's going to go all the way to Springer, New Mexico. You go to Albuquerque and then go up north to Highway 25. And we pull double trailers. We pull hazmat loads, all of it. Found a good outfit. If you're a driver, they're all over the U.S. R&L Carriers. They're one of the best companies I've ever worked for. Amy and I are finally going to have really good health insurance. and whew, It's a grind. I'll tell you what, we're driving close to 700 miles a day, both of us. And uh, seeing some beautiful parts of the country up I-40 in that. Okay, there's that crevice that Lester's been going after there. And I think the plan is we're going to meet up next Sunday out here and have barbecue up there at the house and uh, have Amy with us too. But we're going to follow. We're going to clear all that material. We're going to bring a couple. Uh, he's got a Gold Hog High Banker. I've got a Keen Mini Max. And we're going to set them up down in that big water hole over there and carry buckets back and forth and move a bunch more material. And it should be a pretty good episode next week. And then uh, I'll show you, just, you know, messing around this hole here. Doing less than about 10 pans or so. Not too bad. Ugh. I said, wait till we get a couple high bankers back in here. Let me go in the shade where I can see what you're seeing. I didn't do as well as Lester did over where he's over here on this bedrock. So like I said, I think the plan is we'll, we'll both attack this area next week and move all this rock and run all that material, several buckets through the high bankers. You guys will want to check that out. And then uh, he, he did pretty good today, just panning out of there. But uh, yeah, some nice gold in there. Look at all this gold. This panning. You wait till we get a couple high bankers in here next week. I'm glad he's going home with some good gold from Arizona. Yeah, how many how many miles was that to go? Like fourteen hundred miles or something? Two thousand. Two thousand miles. So it's four thousand there and back total. Yep. Look at all that. Yeah. You want to come out here and retire? Maybe. I thought I was. Yeah, you he heard, thought about it. Huh? You heard me talking about it. This is twelve hours from Mother Yuba. Look at that. This is 12 hours from Mother Yuba. Look at all that gold. This panning. It's in Big Bug Creek. I don't have to be Mother Yuba. We got this kind of stuff going on. But I love Mother Yuba. Wow. Very nice. Nice flakes, too. So what is this again? You see where a strap came through here? Yeah, and this is where the wood ended right here. This is the thing we found detecting down across the Over bend. the yoke. So it went up, has loops on it. So that went on a horse? Mm-hmm, or a big mule. Or ox, maybe, or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. You want to put it on your porch or something? Oh, I got to show Lester that part of the stamp mill on the porch, the front porch. That was neat. Mm -hmm. So, the other around, but he didn't Lester brought us a present all the way from. So they use like winches and stuff. Oh, I've seen Oots pretzels, so. Motor instead of like real chips with no preservatives, all the way from Pennsylvania. We're going to leave these here for the barbecue next week. <laughs> nice. There's a head of an old stamp mill from the 1800s. We found that right by where we found that weird yoke thing we just dug up. Well, guys, we'll be back on Sunday and enjoy the Arizona mountains up here and Big Bug Creek and some more gold and friends and the bees getting into that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> There's one hummingbird. He's going to get... And chase them out of here. As long as they don't come after me, we'll chase them. Well, it's back to the grind tonight for me, and then uh, we'll be back next Sunday. And guys, enjoy the rest of your enjoy this week, and uh, thank you very much for coming along.